One point of confusion is the plus and minus sign for g. Formally, g is simply the magnitude of the acceleration due to gravity in free fall. It is defined just to be a positive number, so it is 9.8 meters per second squared on Earth. More correctly, the question should be, in a given problem, what is the most convenient coordinate system to use? Or in other words, is it more convenient to make up positive, or is it more convenient to make down positive? Up being positive is merely a convention. There's no problem with being unconventional and making up negative. So let's consider two problems. In the first problem, we're going to find the distance an object has fallen. In this particular problem, it is more convenient to make down positive because the distance fallen already implies down. If we made down to be negative, we'd end up with a negative distance, and the distance fallen might be minus 30 meters. That would be a double negative and would sound like the object actually fell upward. To avoid that confusion, simply make down to be positive, and then the acceleration is plus g, or plus 9.8 meters per second squared. Now let's look at a second problem. In this problem, we've got a guy kicking a football. The most convenient coordinate system is to put the football at the origin, make to the right positive, and make the y-axis vertically up, and make up positive. This makes the initial velocity of the ball to be upward. That, by definition, would make down to be negative, and the acceleration would be a minus 9.8 meters per second squared. And we'd make that choice because it would be a more convenient way to solve the problem. So is g positive or negative? In one sense, it just depends on how you set up the problem. The most important point is simply to be consistent. Once you pick a sign convention, stick with it. If an upward velocity is set to be a positive number, then automatically the acceleration due to gravity must be set to be a negative 9.8 meters per second squared. Once up is positive, down is negative. All motion, including acceleration, is relative to your point of view, and your point of view can in fact be unconventional.